Thomas Alive to Die presents Yonkers. The company was founded by three Polish Jewish immigrant brothers Lipman Samuel and Marcus Yonker, who opened a general store in Kyokuk Island in 1856. Herman Yonker, a younger half brother to the three founders, opened a dry goods store in Des Moines Island in 1874. Following Samuel's death in 1879, the Keokuk store was closed and the Des Moines location became the main store. The future novelist and newspaper editor Eleanor Hoyt Brainerd worked as a clerk at the Younger store in Des Moines in 1889. In 1899, the Younger Brothers' main store in downtown Des Moines was moved to 7th and Walnut Streets and it operated at the same location for 106 years before closing on August 12, 2005. The downtown Des Moines store became known for its tea room restaurant which opened in 1913 and closed shortly before the store did. It also installed Iowa's first escalator known as the Electric Stairs in 1939. A series of additions, enlargements and mergers resulted in the company changing its name to Yonkers Incorporated. The department store in downtown Des Moines was purchased in 1912. The company started growing in the 1920s by acquiring other department stores throughout Iowa including Wilkins Department Stores in 1923, Harris Emery in 1927 and J. Mandelbaum & Sons in 1928. The Iowa-based retailers Brent Nalls of Marshalltown and Davidson's of Sioux City were acquired in 1948 and Yetters of Iowa City was acquired in 1949. Yonkers began expanding outside of Iowa during the 1950s and opened its first shopping mall store in Omaha, Nebraska in 1955. It acquired another Omaha department store Kilpatrick's in 1961. By 1978 Yonkers had 28 stores in 5 states. In November 1978 a fire broke out in the Yonkers store in the Merle Hay Mall in Des Moines killing 11 people. To date it is the most devastating fire in Des Moines history and destroyed the original Yonkers at the mall. It is also the third deadliest department store fire in U.S. history. The fire was caused by faulty wiring. In the early hours of March 29, 2014 a fire ravaged the former Yonker Brothers department store in downtown Des Moines while it was under renovation. The eastern original 1899 building partially collapsed in the fire and was demolished the western 1909 Wilkins department store building that Yonkers had expanded into in 1924 was still standing as of 2016 and undergoing renovation. Yonkers was operated by the Equitable of Iowa Insurance Company from 1979 to 1992 after being a publicly traded company since 1948. Under Equitable's ownership Yonkers acquired all 11 locations of the Omaha-based Brandeis department store chain in 1987. After returning to public ownership on the Nasdaq on April 22, 1992 Yonkers purchased the 22 stores of the H.C. Prince chain in Wisconsin and Michigan. After a hostile takeover bid by Carson Perry Scott was rejected in 1995 Yonkers shareholders agreed to a friendly merger by Profits Inc. of Knoxville, Tennessee. The merger was completed in December 1996. Profits would later acquire Carson Perry Scott and in 1998 Profits acquired Saks Fifth Avenue to form Saks Incorporated. In 2003 Saks closed Yonkers headquarters in Des Moines and merged its operations with those of Carson Perry Scott in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Saks sold Yonkers and its other northern department store group stores Carson Perry Scott Bergner's Boston store and Herberger's to Bonton stores in a $1.1 billion deal that was completed on March 6, 2006. On January 31, 2018 Bonton announced that they were going to close 42 locations nationwide including 9 in the state of Wisconsin between February and April 2018. It was further announced on April 17, 2018 that Bonton stores would be closing doors and began liquidating all 267 stores after two liquidators Great American Group and Tiger Capital Group won an auction for the company. The bid was estimated to be worth $775.5 million. 
This included all remaining Yalkers locations after 162 years of operation. On August 29, 2018 Yalkers closed its doors and shut down. On September 10, 2018 of Merrillville, Indiana-based CSG Generation acquired all trademark and intellectual property assets of the Bon Ton. Subsequently in early 2021 CSC Generation sold all the acquired assets of Bon Ton to New York-based Brandex.com Inc. in a private sale. The new and now must-have trends for fall are here, and only at Yonkers. From runway-inspired looks to a fresh take on vintage favorites, we've got the hottest trends to mix, match, and make your own. Whether you have a boho style or tend towards sporty chic, find the most noteworthy trends for fall in-store or visit us online at yonkers.com slash new and now. Make your statement only at Yonkers. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.